continue that run in the match as India push back and get match 10 of the seventh edition of the Sultan of Johor Cup underway. Regarded by many, Prasad, their captain. Prasad pushes the ball out wide. Shilanand Lakra has won a penalty corner. That's the perfect start for India, but also waiting for India. Just a slight shift, play going on. Sanjay is there, they look to spin, and it is gone horribly wrong for India. Sanjay is a player who we hear is lethal from penalty corners, but at the moment, Australia looking for a foot this end. Good work by Nathan Ephraims. And it is now a penalty corner for Australia. And it'll be very interesting in Victoria. Lovely part of Victoria. Comes to him. Stefan sweeps. Good save by Shankham. Keeps the follow-up as well out from Ephraims. So both teams with one penalty corner unable to convert in these opening minutes of the match. Good steal and a good pass forward. Crucial touch, though, coming from Mandeep Moore, just deflecting it down into the corner. It's a free hit, though, for Australia, just outside. Meaden thought about taking it quickly, changed his mind. Into the circle it goes. Good stick work being shown by Ephraims, and he's won a penalty corner. Time alongside Damon Stephens. Joel Rintala, the Queenslander, who was scoring some good goals in the Australian Hockey League. Comes to Rintala. Rintala sweeps. Rintala scores. There was nothing that Shankar could do to keep that one out. A brilliantly executed penalty corner by Australia. Rintala firing home at pace. And they have the lead, the Australians. A perfect start for them. And Joel Rintala concedes a penalty corner for India. So a really good chance now for India to get back on level terms. Really, these two have worked together exclusively at the Chandigarh Academy and have been very potent force for Chandigarh. Pratap Lakra is at the first battery. His stopper will be the captain, Vivek Prasad. Prasad stops, swept towards goal. Brilliant save, McGeoch. Low down to his left-hand side. Just got his mitt there in time to prevent Prasad. McGeoch lost sight of it. He's on the ball now. Goes back to Pratap Lakra. On the reverse, fires it in towards the D and... Australia can't keep it in play as it ricochets off the stick of Dylan Martin. Be a long corner to India. Into the corner, go India. Australia shifting across well. Off the stick of Buzzico. I must apologise, I've been calling it. Great ball forward. Here's a chance for Australia as it's Hazel bursting forward. The man from Tamworth across the face of goal. And it was a really brave challenge in front of the keeper coming from Liam Flint. Unfortunately for him, his deflection went wide. So Australia looking good in the counter-attack at the moment. India, that's a great pass by Sanjay. Picks out down, up ahead. Maintenance and construction all around the world again with offices in New York, Australia, Thailand, the UK and the USA. And it's a penalty corner again for India. for Sanjay, he does indeed, Sanjay sweeps, it's gone in, just came off the pad and Sanjay gets the goal, he's been waiting for the opportunity all through the tournament and finally he sweeps it up, Major Dianchan getting eight, Australia coming forward, ball by Staines along the baseline, played into the foot, Ephraim's happy with the penalty corner, didn't feel at the second, Rintala scored Australia's opening goal, Stephens pulls away. Will they go with Scanlon? They've gone with Rintala. Saved by Shankar. Still with Australia. Trying to find a way forward, but just dispossessed and having to chase back is Jacob Anderson. Meninda, good ball from him. Great ball by him. Across the face of goal, and McGeoch had to just paddle that away. Harinda comes back and commits another foul. So another free hit taken really quickly. The deflection across the face of goal. Shankar's come out a long way. And it was good defence at the back by Pratap Lakra, just to steer it away from the face of goal, with Shankar a long way out of his goal. Pratap Lakra, though, just trying to lift that one out of defence. Takes it down the side. Sanjay, the goal scorer for India. Getting a little bit of space, trying to get the better of Anderson. He got to the base, and across it came, and Shilana and Lakra was at the back post, but with his stick on the reverse, wasn't able to get the touch. Green looking to feed Staines. Staines in a little bit of space on the left-hand side. Spins. Good block on the edge of the circle. Appeals 
from Sanjay for a free hit and the whistle goes and it will be a free hit swept away denying Prasad now it comes to Abhishek still alive for India Abhishek trying to get in the D just pushes it towards the goal but it was actually off her too Abhishek lurking not sure he will be involved Pratap Lakra is the only option Vivid Prasad doesn't stop still alive played to the front of the goalkeeper and missed in front of goal by Roshan Kumar just maybe Roshan like the Iceman in all the other games is just today I'm quite sure what's happened maybe he's just got the whole game and the importance of it he's got to him it's a long call it's gone off his stick and out of play I think the feeling should have been a penalty for in fact the umpires given it as an India ball from the side I certainly thought the deflection came off Verinda's stick forward it's a good pass coming from Anderson across the face of goal Rintala's there Rintala he's been thwarted by Shankar it was a good save and it was Verinda coming out as well not sure which player got the touch it doesn't really matter because combined they kept it out Australia into the D they go ball taken off the stick of Green Good tackling and defensive work. And now India looking to break forward again. Marangtem on played here as well at the Sultan of Johor Cup as Meninda bursts forward. Meninda still going. Close attention though. Meninda into the D. Brilliant offload across the face of goal and over the baseline. Just good work once more from Harmanjeet making himself available. But Meninda is a joy to watch when he's running with the ball. Free hit just outside the circle. Must travel five metres. Australian players defensively can be inside the circle. For Stewart to bring under control as we enter the final 30 seconds. He tries to throw an aerial pass, it wasn't a good one. India with Harmanjit. Harmanjit got the ball infield. Dilpreet into the D. Dilpreet fires home. Well, he is scoring a goal a game, and there is another one from Dilpreet Singh. He cannot stop scoring. The minute he let that run into the D, there was trouble for Australia, and he beats the goalkeeper. Australia having changed their goalkeepers. Finn is the keeper beaten, but Dilpreet, what a finish from him, and what a time to score. Together, or is it a case of you room together all your life? You want to have a different roommate when you go on tour as Australia look to break forward. This might be a chance for them to get an equaliser. They've got bodies inside the circle. Just trying to find a way in is Ephraims. Ephraims working well. Keeps it alive for Australia and wins a penalty corner. So is it a case of wanting a different roommate when you go away? <laughs> Looks to be the main option. Stephens alongside him. Scanlon at the first battery, stopping is Anderson for him and Jake Stane's brother Ben doing the stopping at the second battery. It's not been trapped well by Anderson. And a real physical coming together between Buzzico. And it goes out for a long corner for Australia. Looking to get on with Meninda there for his challenge on Anderson. Meninda does like to mix it up a bit. That was off the foot, top of the D. Verinda's foot. So free hit taken very quickly by Australia. Bretherton looks to fired across ricochets up penalty corner to Australia Lambert and Baden Choppy in years gone by for the Kookaburras it's a poor stop again this time from Anderson still alive inside the deep Ephraim's trying to win another penalty corner it's gone in and there is the equaliser well it wasn't pretty but in the end it doesn't matter it's gone in the goal I think Kobe level bursting forward Another free hit to Australia just outside the D. This is good pressure from them. India just being forced to commit some niggling fouls and you just think they may get a card issued very soon if they don't watch it. Deflection from Rintala though is wide. In fact, a card has been issued. Just as I was saying that, Vivek Prasad, the captain, is sitting out on the side of the former Kookaburra. Brilliant skills being shown by Marang Tam and he's won a penalty corner. And this would be the sort of moment that Chris Sorello would relish. A penalty corner to give his team the lead. His details are during the live stream and you can get in touch with his dad who will make it very easy for you to get up there. That is his dad, Lou Sorello.
as India looking to restore their league. Sanjay waits at the first battery for them. It goes to him, he sweeps towards goal. Brilliant save by McGeoch. And just taken away well by Stephens. Edge of the deep, Roshan Kumar was trying to play it in and in the end it's Mandeep Moore who's penalised. A good defensive play by Australia and a good save again coming from George McGeoch. Surrounded by three players for India. Firmillo's made a good run into the space. Firmillo now looks to just dink the ball past. And he got it past initially. The challenge of Sukji. And a penalty corner won by Australia. So here is another great opportunity. With one minute and eight seconds left on the clock. Can Australia do what India did at the end of the second quarter and get a goal with at the second battery? And it's a poor trap again. Stewart though will keep it alive, fires it in, good save by the keeper but it came wide and Australia have taken the lead. It was swept home, there's appeals for a referral but there are no referrals in this tournament so India, there's nothing they can do. Shankar was not happy, it was Bretherton encroaching into that imaginary five metre zone. Dilpreet now, danger, Dilpreet, top corner. I said he was the player to look out for. That is just some of the magic that is Dilpreet Singh. This young man has a very bright... Again from Mandeep Moore and then he's done for shielding. Bretherton gets plays on quickly, finds Ephraims. Ephraims again is a player who can score goals from impossible angles. Good 3D skills from him, lifting the ball up and a stick check as he did so. So penalty corner to Australia. They muffed the last one but got a, got a goal from it. And they execute a good one. Nathaniel Stewart at the first. They go to Stewart. Little backdoor pass. It's there. Swept home by Scanlon. Or was there a touch from Ephraims in front of the goalkeeper? Ephraim seems to be the one getting all the congratulations. It was Scanlon though who swept it towards goal. Just getting the feeling though that Ephraims may have got the final touch. So he's closing in on Dilpree if he did. Australia from a still for Australia along the baseline over the baseline it goes in fact it's going to be I think it is a long corner for a second I thought Tim Bond was pointing to a free hit just outside the circle Meaden over the ball comes back to Buzzico Steffens slaps it in Vivek Prasad happy to concede another long corner we still believe it or not, 11 minutes left in this match. 4-3 to Australia at the moment. That's the 80th goal of the tournament. And this is the 10th caught round the legs by Vivek Prasad, but he still managed to get the pass to Stewart. Lost, Rintala plays it into the body. Rintala gets the penalty corner. Complaints from Mandeep Moore. Looked a little bit high, but the only thing was Mandeep Moore was down on one knee as he was playing it. Indian players are saying he just had his arm down, but he was actually lower than that. The front knee was virtually on the ground, and Steffens wait. Rintala at the first battery, Steffens at the second. Comes to Rintala, it's a poor trap by Meaden. Meaden has to play on, Meaden is caught by Mandeep Moore, but no whistle, play on is the call. Into the D, it comes all the way across, just touched one of the Indian sticks on the way through, so Australia ball from the side. Australia have to win this game to keep their hopes of a place in the final and defending their title alive. Let's not forget they won last time. Steffens helped down and it's a good pass to Isaac Camilla across the D. Great pickup, just the keeper to beat. Took it maybe a little bit too far inside and deflected. In fact, no deflection, just wide from Aaron Hazel. Now, Hazel looked as if the goal was at his mercy and all he had to do was beat Shankar. Just took it a little bit too close to the keeper. And in the end, was wide. He's back to Verinda. Verinda to Mandeep Moore. Mandeep Moore creates some space. Fires it in, deflection, good save, and somehow it goes over the crossbar from Dilpreet. And that just proves that he is, in fact, human. He's either human or he just got the spell wrong on that occasion, the magician up front for India. Stolen by Bretherton. Bretherton driving forward. Ephraims ran a little bit close to him. The pass is to Famillo. Famillo ricochets off the Indian defensive stick. It will be a long corner. 